A telegraph. A telegraph. The insurance policy for Robinson's machine. A significant sum. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I am investigating the unfortunate disappearance of last night's train. I see. Uh, I'm Station Master Bertram, but my supervisor has not informed me about this. I do not know if... Uh, do not worry. I have only a few questions. Station Master Everett from Evesham told us that you reported a problem with some passengers last night. Indeed. This train is a regular line for those who work at Nottingham. But yesterday, everyone was asked to get off the train here at my station. I've no idea why, and it delayed the train. But the worst of it is that now I have to deal with two furious passengers who are complaining about the company's service. They stayed here the whole night, but people do not usually pay much attention to the regulations, you see. There are very strict and clear rules. Paragraph 234 of Article 2G-43 states that in the event of a complaint, you must... Yes, yes, thank you. I understand. Apart from the passengers disembarking, did you notice anything else that was unusual last night? I did, and I mentioned it in my report to our higher management on the matter. What was it? Sorry, but I can't tell you. The station master's reports are confidential. Confidential, you say? How long have you been working here? I have worked here long enough to be uh, quite capable of managing a railway station. I see. Apart from the passengers disembarking, did you notice anything else that was unusual last night? I did, and I mentioned it in my report to our higher management on the matter. What was it? Sorry, but I can't tell you. The station master's reports are confidential. Confidential, you say? How long have you been working here? I have worked here long enough to be uh, quite capable of managing a railway station. Let me speak frankly, Mr. Bertram. Your age and your lack of confidence in your position are quite apparent. 
You cannot deny that you have only recently completed your studies. I was at the top of my class. Listen here, young man. I am aware that you wish to protect yourself behind all these regulations, but I represent the law. And you are obstructing the investigation of an important case. I would suggest that you cooperate with Mr. Holmes. Think of your career. Ah, uh, that is... Well, I'll tell you everything. First of all, I scolded the ticket inspector, for it was he who asked the passengers to leave the train. It was not his right to do so. He was very rude. And then, later on, I received a most peculiar telegram from my colleague at Chesterfield Station, the next stop along the line. What did the telegram say? Well, that was the peculiar thing. It was almost unreadable. It was full of errors and awfully vague. It was hard to understand if the train had correctly passed that station or not. You can read it for yourself. We ought to visit Chesterfield Station. We need to confirm if the station master saw the train or not. Don't touch anything, please. The whole train just disappeared. It's unbelievable. Locked. Locked. This bin is full of empty bottles. A fishing advertisement.
I had thought that all station masters knew the Morse code, but apparently not. A telegraph. How could he fall asleep at work like this? Excuse me, sir. Wake up. Ah, his breath. He must have swallowed half a distillery. And that explains the how. By his sleeping off the alcohol, you mean. Wake up, please, sir. Huh? What? The 18 hours 72 train has arrived? A good day to you. We are investigating the disappearance of last night's train, and we should like to ask you a few questions. Were there any passengers who got off that particular train at your station last night? No. Nobody, it seems to me. Although I did not leave my office, so... No doubt you were very busy. You don't say. You can't ever get any peace around here. Ah, you have to send a telegram each time a train arrives and departs. Oop. Station Master Bertram from Bridlington showed me a strange telegram that he received from you last night. It concerned the train, but it was barely comprehensible. What? He's a fastidious little twerp, that Bertram. I remember everything quite clearly. It was late, and I was tired, but I did my work. So what? There's no need to be so petty. You were not tired, you were inebriated. Tell me the truth now, or I shall not hesitate to document your state in my report. My friend means that you will end up by being sacked from your position. All right. So I was drunk. I don't remember all of yesterday, to be truthful to you. Please don't go harsh on me. Holmes, this man has consumed a considerable amount of alcohol. He's not entirely helpless yet, but... It will not be long before he is. Obviously, his testimony cannot be trusted. <laughs> 